Now guys, let me quickly show you how you can add or change icons of individual apps on a your iPhone. It's very simple to do, so I'm going to get to it right away. First of all, you need to go to your Safari and go to the Photos section, and here you're going to have to type in the uh, changed icons that the icons you want to replace. So let's say that it's going to be Instagram, and so Instagram icon, you're going to click on it. That what you have to do is is to search the term Instagram icon, or perhaps add the aesthetic to it so i click on aesthetic so you have some nice instagram uh, icons which you can use for your iphone let's say that you like this pale looking one so you're going to open it up wait for it to load up completely hold down on it and click on a save to photos now it's just going to get saved to your uh, camera roll so then we can use it uh, later to customize our icons now what you need to do is what you need to have is a shortcut app from ios i should have it installed so yeah here is the shortcut app and you need to download it from the app store it's a free app so open it up and here you are presented with a couple of existing shortcuts at the bottom of the page we have the shortcut section automation and galleries so click on the shortcuts and now you can create a new one if i zoom it in right there there is a plus icon at the top of the page so so just click on the plus icon and you have some options so the suggestions include send message open app play music and we basically want to add the open app section so you can actually look it up right there but for us it's already prepared at the the suggestions tab so click on open app now you can see open app is right there and you now only need to choose which app is supposed to open so as we said we are working with instagram and we want to change uh, the uh, app icon of the instagram app so click on the app right there click on the rectangle and now you can scroll through all of your apps you can try to find the app manually or you can just look it up with the search bar. So Instagram, you can see here we have the only option. Click on Instagram and now you are pretty much done. So click on done and the shortcut has been created. So you can see if you tap on it, it opens up the Instagram, which is fine. However, you want to add it as an icon to the home screen. So click on the three dots right there and you get back to the same section where we customize it. At the bottom here is the share icon. If you click on it, you get to this section and you have one option which says add to home screen. So it looks like this. Click on add to home screen. Now you can change the title. First of all, change it to Instagram because that is what it's supposed to look like. So Instagram right there. And also click on the icon right next to the title. Click on this. You can take a photo, choose from a photo library or choose a file from the files app. So click on choose photo because we want to access the uh, Instagram app that we've chosen or like downloaded earlier. So click on choose and now we have it like this. So you can see this is what our Instagram app is going to look like. It's not kind of centered. So you can see that, that the logo could be in the center more, but yeah, you can actually uh go back to the photo and if you zoom it in you can actually reposition it so like make it aligned to the to the middle as best as you can so it can go like this and once you're happy with the result you can see that it's gonna appear in this square so now click on choose and it's looking a bit better now it's more zoomed in but it also looks like a little bit more in the center not like too much okay so once you're ready click on add and now it's going to be added to the home screen so if you come back you should be able to find it somewhere where free space is available so you can see instagram right there now, when I open up Instagram, you can see that it actually gets inside of the app, which is really cool. So you can see that it allows me to get in right like that and I can use the new Instagram app. So this is how you can change it up. It's actually very simple as you can see. It's not even that hard to get it to work. You can, you can just keep on going like that with all of the individual apps. You can choose it for pretty much every single, if you really wanted to, you can go one by one and change it up as you want. Also, one cool thing about it is that you know how you get the annoying notification because of the shortcuts. If you have the iPhone 14 Pro with the dynamic island, you get like a different one, which is much less apparent. So just check out the dynamic uh, island when I open it up. You can see it just shows me right there that yet yeah, yes it opened it up and stuff so it's not really that useful and it's actually like much less 
apparent, which is only cool. Anyways, that would be about it. Hope the video helped you out for more content like this. Make sure to subscribe and also check out the next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.